Okay, good morning everyone. Today is the 15th of February 2018. Uh, welcome to JFD Brokers Traders Espresso with me, Darius Anachowskis, where we're going to have a quick market overlook um, on what's what's happening, what potentially could happen today. Um, but before we continue, I will just quickly run you through our risk disclaimer here. So JFD Brokers offers exclusively consultancy free, free, free services. The content of this webinar does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation and does, does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. So I'll just let you read the rest. Yeah. Okay, so also before, as usual, before we continue, I'll just remind you of our website here, JFD Research, uh, where you can actually go in onto JFD Brokers website and uh, click on the JFD group here, and then you can click on research, where it will take you to our research page where we actually provide even more analysis on a daily basis. Um, we also throw out a few shout outs. Uh, trading shoutouts, just separate technical analysis, also in different languages as you can see. So yeah, I hope you'll you can find this useful. Okay, but let's get back into into the markets. So the first one that I wanted to have a look at actually was the Euro dollar. Now yesterday's CPI figure that came out of the US, well it brought a lot of action into the markets, to be honest, and we could see that all major, uh, all major, major currencies against the dollar. Initially, they had a nice big sell-off here. Just let's open the uh, one-hour chart actually here. Uh, we can see that it had a good, it had a good sell-off first. Went down to test this trend line here on uh, on the euro dollar. Reversed, bounced back. And went higher and went and took out the um, yesterday's high of 20 uh, 23 950 around that and moved higher now currently it's trading at around 124 600 700 um, if this actually starts breaking this 120 124 750 let's say if it starts breaking this level to the upside, then we could potentially see some more, um, some more movements um, towards these previous highs of, of February, beginning of February and actually end of January. Um, these levels that are around 125, 200, 125, 380. So this area here, but if, of course the first, the first mark. The psychological mark will, would be 125. Now, on the other side here, if if this if this is going to hold, if the 124.750 is going to hold, then we could see actually a bit of retracement, and I believe that this could be a, actually healthy for this pair um, if it wants to continue going higher. So we could ideally we would like to see maybe a retracement back to the 124 level. Um, and then re a reverse bounce and a move higher. Now, if such a scenario would happen, we would have to actually quick have a quick, uh, sorry, a, a clear kind of an accurate, um, uh, careful. That's the word that I was looking for. A careful look at this area here because if it starts to break it could potentially lead to towards the 50 and the 100 EMAs which are currently trade, uh, currently running at around 123.500 so again if the 124 will not be enough for it to hold um, then yeah 123.500 could be the next level but that's of course if we get a rejection at around 124.750 um, so Aussie dollar was no exception yesterday. The same, the same story here. But now we're seeing a huge move back. Well, not back, but like a huge move even higher now. Um, it is running towards the one, uh, getting closer to 0.80 mark. 
at least it looks like that it, it wants to touch that mark. Again, we have to wait. It, it is kind of a little bit over um, overbought, I believe. So maybe we could see a little retracement back to the downside, maybe on the four hour, if we're looking at a four hour chart here, maybe a test of this 50, 50 EMA. Um, and then potentially a move higher, or actually, or actually, could be ideal for a test of this trend line here. Now, that said, we at the moment the market looks strong. At the moment, the market looks strong, and uh, I think it might continue going higher. Um, the pound will actually we'll skip the pound because the pound had a similar story here. Um, Euro pound, the Euro pound. There we go. So yesterday I and mean, actually a few days before we were looking at this level here at around 0 0.89 100 which is acting currently as a strong resistance level um, we can see that the price is still stuck in on the 4 hour char chart is still stuck in this channel and at the moment we can see that it's it's trying to get higher, maybe trying to get back to the 89, 0 0.89 level, 89, 0 0.89, 100 level, um, maybe test that area again. Um, until that happens, we can't really say because it's actually the same. It, it could go down as well. It could go and test this trend line on the bottom. And if the euro, let's say, collapses today um, or doesn't collapse or just starts to sell off, uh, then we could see a break of this trend line here. But at the moment, I'm quite neutral on this pair. Um, I would like to just to see a break of one of these one of these levels here, either the 0 0.89 100 or maybe the trend line on the bottom here. Now looking at the USD JPY, the dollar yen, so on a bigger picture, uh, the daily on the daily you can see that yes, it's, it's still running towards the downside um, yesterday it it met its res it met its resistance at 107 400 we mentioned that level as well this was it's seen this level as a strong resistance so uh, when the U U UK, UK, US CP, CPI numbers were coming out if, if all the other dollar pairs where the dollar sits in, in at first place um, dollar is the first currency we saw the big spikes to the upside um, like the, for example the USD CAD um, or the dollar Swiss franc so all of them had a, a spike a spike to, towards the upside um, but the US, USD JPY was the only one who didn't and it kind of held below still held below the 107 400 so after the, buy, the dollar buying calmed down a little bit we started seeing a move back to the back to its two, uh, Tuesday lows. Um, actually, sorry, it was Monday low. Maybe I should correct myself here. Um, so yeah, it went down this to this low here, 106, 800. Tested it quickly, bounced off a little bit, but then actually broke it and went lower. So now it's trading at around 106, 300, which is which is today's, which has been today's low, and uh, we'll, we'll have to see. If it's, if it's gonna start breaking it, we could potentially see some moves lower towards the 106 area, but if today this level is gonna prove itself to be quite a strong support level, uh, then uh, we're, look, we're looking at maybe a move back to the 106, 800, and Potentially, maybe to back to the strong level, strong resistance level of 107, 400. So this is just a quick overlook of what could we potentially expect for today. Um, I hope you have a great morning. I hope you have a great day, to trading day today. And uh, yeah, guys, keep an eye on the price action. Bye bye.